Hello there Star Wars fans and collectors, this is Anderson back with another review. It's been a while, you know, um, for those that follow me on this channel, you might have noticed that I've taken a hiatus because, uh, because there's no videos on, on my channel and the reason for this is because I've been busy with school and life has been so busy to the point where I didn't get the chance to do any videos. But now that I'm on break, I have a lot of time, I thought I'd go back to doing uh, figure reviews and as of, as of I'm recording this this is December 27th 2020 and I hope everyone is doing well during these hard times I know COVID sucks quarantine sucks but we just we should stay strong and get through it and since, since I'm at home quarantined I thought I'd do another figure review so for today's review we'll be looking at the vintage collection Obi-Wan Kenobi now this is a reissue, a uh, repack of the figure from 2012, I believe, 2010, 2012. So this isn't, so this is not the original figure. This is the recent uh, reissue. Um, but overall, this is a fantastic figure. I've been looking for this figure for quite some time now. A few years ago, a friend of mine named Tyler, you might know him from Bands of Pudum. Please subscribe to his channel too. Uh, he gave me an Anakin figure from the Vintage Collection in his Clone Wars armor. And ever since I got that figure, I've been looking for an Obi-Wan to go in with that Anakin. But I couldn't find an Obi-Wan. I looked high and low, couldn't find an Obi-Wan anywhere. But recently I got this, and it is a fantastic figure to have in your collection. One of the best versions of Obi-Wan out there, you know? And I like the fact that Hasbro would do... Um, live action they, they would make action figures with live action faces based off of a cartoon character so i i think that's pretty cool now before we take a look at this let's take a look at the packaging that one comes in and my phone just dropped but that's okay so this is the packaging a vintage collection uh, kenner style card back and as you can see here there's the clone wars name obi-wan's name we see a picture of Obi-Wan with Ewan McGregor's likeness. It's kind of cool. We see Ewan McGregor with uh, his Clone Wars armor. And in the back, we see uh, Republic gunships and clone troopers in the background. And I'm, now I'm assuming that this is Geonosis or whatever because it has this very um, desert like, dusky um, atmosphere or environment to it. So I'm assuming it's Geonosis. Uh, we got the typical warning, choking hazards, like usual. Back here we have other figures in the way. The first, the first row appear to be repacks, reissues like Maul, Wicket, Anakin, and Obi Wan, and the bottom figures seem to be new ones. And then of course we have, you know, kind of the same thing but different languages. And we got the Hasbro logo and Disney logo, and. This is Vintage Collection number 103, figure number 103. And yeah, that's all for the packaging, ages 4 and up, and your typical Star Wars figure um, card back. Now back to the figure himself. Like I said, this is a fantastic Obi-Wan Kenobi. If you don't have him, get him. If you couldn't get him back then, get him now. You know, don't wait, you know. Um, accessories that the figure comes with include an ignited lightsaber and a lightsaber hilt that you can clip onto his belt. He has um, there's a peg right here and there's a hole. You just clip it on, and you have him wearing his lightsaber hilt. Articulation includes a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, a swivel waist, a swivel hips, bulged knees, and bulged ankles. The detailing on this figure is very nice as well. Uh, I don't know if, it's, if you can see it, but there's also some like battle damage, like battle worn detail on the armor. And I love how how the how it has the beige color that matches the cartoon um, version of Obi Wan, and it just looks real nice on on the figure. You know, the paint, the beige paint looks nice and accurate. And, and, and what can I say? It just it just looks nice, you know. And we have the Jedi symbol on his shoulder pad, left shoulder pad. 
and we also have like a comm link or what or the thing he uses to talk into I'm guessing on his left arm forearm left forearm and on the bottom it's a, there's a soft goods um, lower part of his armor or outfit uh, face sculpt is decent I, I can't say that looks like you and McGregor it kind of does um, if, if you guys aren't aware I'm pretty sure but I'm pretty sure you guys are aware um, Hasbro has been using a photo reel um, technology thing to give the head sculpts a more realistic look to it so so this so if you compare this to the original obi-wan um you notice that this head sculpt is more realistic i don't have the other obi the original version of this obi-wan so i can't compare head sculpts but i'm pretty sure you can go on jedibusiness.com and do a, do a comparison but even with the photo real likeness it still looks great it, it didn't ruin the look of the head sculpt so it's still a great figure to have and then I forgot to show you, but there's some dirt um, or whatever on the boots of his. Yeah, there's some dirt on his boots. Great detail. But yeah, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell icon for notifications. And yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And may the force be with you. Have a great day.